So hi, I'm, my name is Dean Maynard. I'm the captain of Futsal Club Cardiff. I've been playing futsal now for, for 10 years. Started off by playing street football um, back in, in Pentwin on the streets with all my friends. Uh, played 11-a-side football. So I played 11-a-side football. I grew up playing for Cardiff City until the age of 15. Went to Cheltenham Town, played there till I was 19. Went over to America, um, played a little bit of football, well, soccer over there um, until I was about 21 and then discovered futsal. And I just haven't looked back since. So I've played for Wales also. So I have about 40, maybe 45 caps for Wales, um, the national futsal team. So I've been lucky enough to travel um, all over. So Sweden, Poland a few times. And I've been very, very lucky to, to play at a reasonable standard. So um, we started out, uh, there was about six students. A lot of the players that were playing for the university, they, they wasn't students. So we had to create our own team. So we was part of the Wales setup, Wales, the Welsh futsal team. So what happened then, it was at one camp in Sweden. I went into the boys room and just said, boys, shall we make our own team? Because a lot of us wasn't students. So it makes sense that students continue with the university. We set up um, a different team then, and that's how it was founded about four years ago. So we have a, we have a coach, Manolo. Um, so he's, he's Spanish, so he's grown up with the game since he was six or seven years old. He's now well, 35, but he, just, he don't look like he ages. Um, yeah, but he, he's been with us for the last four years. He was a player. And then when we separated from the university, he kindly said, I'll, I'll just manage. Um, he still joins in the training sessions now and again. You can see he still wants to play, but unfortunately we don't have many coaches uh, or many people who are educated on futsal. So he's come in and and the level has, has increased a tremendous amount. So the training sessions we do is um, we work on set rotations, set pieces, and now people are starting to understand the game a lot more. Whereas before, like you said, we, what I found very difficult is playing futsal for 10 years now is because it's still new to people, you'll, you'll have one or two years in futsal with a group of players and then a fresh group are coming back in. So you're just constantly going over the basics. Whereas now we've got a core group of people that have been together for five years and now we're really developing. Yeah, so I'm Reese Williams. Uh, I play for Futsal Club Cardiff, where I've played the last three years um, and played futsal for about eight or nine years now. Futsal for me, I think, without getting too cheesy, it kind of feels like um, almost like being a kid again, all those bits of football that kind of get lost as you go into the adult game, less touches of the ball, you know, playing against men who sometimes just want to kick you and make it really difficult um, and as a somewhat physical player myself I completely get it but I enjoy the the intensity of it the the movements the tactics and then in your personal life it feels like that kind of sense of camaraderie it feels a lot more uh, you have to concentrate the whole game so it's, it's taking that intensity into your personal life and 
obviously the the mistakes that you make on court uh, directly impacting your your friends, your teammates, the people you play with. So to not let them down, um, it's something that I try to take everywhere, I guess, and try to you know. Uh, Futsal has made a huge impact on my life, so I I find it as it's a bit of an escape um, where you can you come and you play. So I've grown up watching Ronaldinho, and that's how I got into futsal. So I seen Ronaldinho playing, um, and then I discovered futsal, but it, it didn't exist here in Wales. So I went away. I was fortunate to play 11 side football, and then I found futsal when I come back to Wales. They just started. And I just haven't looked back since. So it's that whole thing of going back to Ronaldinho is he always played with a smile. He always expressed himself creatively. He was, he was incredible, but he always had that enjoyment. And that's what I find with futsal. So it's, it's very technical, um, but it's just freedom. And that's what I feel. So when I come into futsal, um, it's just, a, it's, it's an escape. So recently I've suffered with my uncle passed away and then my brother passed away very recently, so the first thing I wanted to do was come and play futsal. Is That was my place to come, my safe zone, where everybody comes together. The whole group are incredible. We've got a great bunch of lads, and everybody's there to, to progress and, and be there for each other. So we have social events where we, we go out and table tennis, and but that's the core, the core thing for me with futsal is that it's, it's freedom, it's, it's a place to express yourself and yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a safe place and it's a fun place. Especially if you want long possession, you want to feel comfortable on the possession. You need to be aggressive, faint, faint behind. And then if he doesn't draw, run, pass it. It's the key guys as well, in order to be successful on our possession. You get that, Johnny? Yeah. Especially those of you who like the ball on your face, okay? <laughs> The FAW tournament um, leading up to the Champions League, it, it was pretty stressful. Um, it's the first time the final's been played in over two legs. So usually it's, it's just one game sort of settles it all. But to go to North Wales, and I think we lost, I think it was 5-3, five, five, um, the first leg. So for us is what I, I question as a captain of, of our team is, we, we didn't have a lot of leaders and what would happen is we'd go behind and that would be it and people would crumble. So over the last two seasons, I've sort of challenged all the players to change our mentality in terms of we need a winning mentality. We need characters to step up. So we were losing 4-1 or 5-1 at half time. So then to come out the second half and win, uh, well, bring it back to 5-3 showed a lot of character. Um, and then to come home, so on our home turf then for the second leg and then win the game in extra time to then take us through. So it's, it's just showed our developments um, as individuals, but also as a team of how we have progressed because a few seasons back, we, we probably would have crumbled. So um, it's, it's good that we've we sort of, we've grown as a team professionally and yeah, we, we've worked on things and that really showed in the finals.
We're looking to, to get more children involved in futsal. Um, but like I said, facilities, um, we're, we're looking at putting a program in place so kids can participate with the, the final of um, the, Welsh, the Welsh Cup. With the final of that, um, you see there was maybe 30 or 40 people that were watching, there was no promotion. And people come down, kids were there watching and there was such, such a buzz about it. Um, so now we're looking to sort of grow the sport and get more kids participating in futsal. So yeah, I think we're, we're, we're excited to where we're going. Um, it's a shame that we're going over to England because we'd like to do it here in Wales. Um, so that's something we're definitely looking at doing is obviously playing over, over in England, but can we create a real base here in, in Wales? Yeah. So, I would, I would say to anyone thinking about trying futsal, try it, especially if you come from a football background. It's, it's just so much fun. I mean, the amount of touches you get on court, the sprints, there's no kind of slowness to it. It's, it's high intensity from first minute to the last. I and mean, it's just really good fun. For it to grow, I think that kind of fun aspect is what will appeal to kids. I think that's always there. Um, the number of touches you get improves you technically, the tactical side obviously improves you tactically and the fitness is, is another level as well. So all that for kids is great. But for adults, I think the opportunities are huge. The, you know, we're talking about playing against professional teams. For an amateur team in Cardiff, in, in the football world, that's kind of a million miles away, but it gives people like me, right, failed footballers, a chance at experience in a kind of elite environment. The environment in Cardiff might not be elite, but the pathways to the elite environment are there. I mean, there's opportunities to play against really good players, see nice places. I think, I think it could grow at all ages, hopefully. But, yeah. um, with Wales, unfortunately, we haven't uh, achieved our, our main objective of going to the Champions League and, and reaching the main rounds. But like I said, is we've now got a team of core players that We've got a real good group of players that enjoy playing together and are now going to go and join the English League and now we're going to look to develop. So this is sort of the end of our journey in Wales, but it's the beginning of something very, very successful and something exciting in, in the English League. So we're going to be looking to, we've conquered Wales and now we're going to go and, we're going to go and conquer England.